what you're seeing here isn't just any ordinary car. This is my childhood dream. Now, before I actually drive this thing, I need some time to explain. So I was cleaning up my room one day, not that it's particularly messy or anything, but Chinese New Year was just around the corner and you know, my parents was like, son, uh, your room smells like your grades, smells like failure, better clean it up and take out the trash. And also while you're taking out the trash, you can uh, take yourself out as well. Yeah, no worries, I'll, I'll clean it later. I see, oh. My parents kept these stacks of photos of when me and my brother were little kids and as embarrassing as they are, out of curiosity, I started going through them one by one. You just have to, right? When you find old photo books laying around, you just cannot resist going through them, even if it's not yours. And then I came across these few photos. Now bear in mind, this was me when I was around two years old. And the first thing that came into my mind was why I look so fat. I don't really know if it's a boy's thing or not, but I grew up really loving cars, mostly because of my dad. He owns this, what's the word? Characterful. Yeah, characterful 1994 Jeep. Or in simple terms, a really old car. Well, there she is. Still feels like yesterday, the last time we sat in this. My dad used to drive us everywhere in this car. I still remember my brother and I would fight over who would ride shotgun, like who would sit at the front. And his excuse was always because he's older, it would be safer for him to sit at the front. Which to me was completely bullshit. But yeah, and then I'll just sit at the back and cry for a solid five minutes. Good time. <laughs> As we grew older, the busier my parents got, the less we got to visit our hometown and eventually just stopped. The last time that I saw my dad's car was in 2014, which was... Fucking hell, it's eight years ago. What time goes so fast, man? Faster than me in bed. This was the last photo that I took of the car. You can tell by my excellent photography skills back in the days, I couldn't even hold the camera properly. I was probably taking the photo like this. It was really bittersweet to see that car. One, because it reminded me of those lovely childhood memories, but seeing that car being left there to rust kind of feels like those memories are slowly fading away. From standing on the driver's seat to now getting my driver's license and being in one still feels pretty unreal. The first thing after I got my driver's license is I asked my parents if I can go on a midnight drive with my friends because it's something that I've always wanted to do and I think it's super therapeutic. But then she would say like, oh no, don't go on midnight drive, so dangerous, so dark, cannot see anything. Okay, fine. And then I would ask her, 
So can I go and drive in the morning? But then she would say, Oh no, don't go on morning. Drive so many car rush hour. You crash into people. So when the fuck am I supposed to drive? But I still really wanted to go on a midnight drive. So I thought to myself, what if I sneak out like at night and then come back before she wakes up? Like if she didn't know, then it would be fine. Nah, that was too crazy of an idea to actually do it. Nah, I can't do it. When I was a kid, I used to have a box full of model cars and I would just put them on the floor and play with them hours and hours on end. But as I grew up, I couldn't afford to keep them anymore because there wasn't enough space in the apartment. It, it was really sad to let them go because they were my favorite toys. But at the end, my mom and I decided to donate them and find them a new owner. Except for one. This particular car is from Initial D, a Japanese street racing manga series that I grew up watching as a kid. There's just something likable about a car that can deliver tofu and racing in the mountain at 3 in the morning. Every time after I finish watching an episode, I always thought to myself, wouldn't it be really cool if I can drive that car one day? To me, this is more than just a toy car. It's a memory. It's my childhood. And seeing that car in real life is basically living my childhood dream. That's the definition of you and me. It really feels like being a child all over again, getting excited about a car that came from an animation. 
That's why out of all the toys, I decide to keep this one because I don't really care how fast time flies. I don't really care how old I'm gonna get. I wanted to remind myself that I still have an inner child and not to grow up so quickly. The same reason to why I made this video because I wanted to relive these moments forever. And I hope this time, the memories will never fade. <laughs> I have to eat 69. Lebao. <laughs>